Well, hello, beginning flute players. It's time for our second video lesson on the flute. And we're going to start by reviewing our notes that we have learned so far. On page four, at the top of the page, on the top line of the music staff, we have our F which is, of course, is the thumb, the first finger, and of course I have an open key on either side of my first finger, second finger, third finger, first finger, and right pinky. This is our F. Let's play an F together. And let's play that F again. And then to go to the E flat, the next note down that we learned in exercise three, the left hand index finger comes up and the right hand two fingers go down. And you wanna spend time practicing just going back and forth between F and E flat. F and E flat. Remember we talked about an invisible finger, uh, an invisible string tied from this finger to these two fingers. And when these two go down, this one comes up. And when this one goes down, those two come up. And we're just kind of rocking back and forth very slowly. And you need to do this a lot. Go slowly. So here's our E flat. We have the bunny ears up here, but the tail is down. Here's our E flat. And then we have our D, and of course it's very easy to move to the D. We just pick up our right pinky, and there's the bunny, the ears and the tail. Thumb, second and third finger on the left hand. One, two, three, pinky up. Here's our D. So those three notes we should have down pretty well now. Then we go down one note lower than D to C. And the, these two fingers that are up are the only two fingers that we use to play the note C. And I've been having people rest their flute on their shoulder and just practice going from D to C. And the thumb must drop down. So all it is is the first finger and right hand pinky for the C. Let's go back to our D. These two fingers are the C, and I drop them down. Now let's remember, if your left hand is open like this, it's impossible to hold the flute when you're playing a C. The left hand wrist has to be bent with the index finger wrapped around the body of the flute. We're resting the body of the flute at the base of the index finger, right here, so that the thumb can come on and off of the thumb key and the first finger can do its thing up there. So here's our D, and then here's our C. Let's drop down to exercise nine and review the B flat, which is one of my favorite flute fingerings. Thumb, first finger, right hand, first finger, and pinky. It's a nice fingering on the flute. Thumb, first finger, first finger, pinky. So there's our B flat. Let's play a B flat. Ready? Let's play that again. And now I wanna leave the flute on my lower lip. I'm fingering my B flat. I'm now gonna go up and finger my C. If I'm gently lifting with my left hand and gently pushing away with my right hand, it helps keep the flute on my face. So again, here's my B flat. And to go from B flat to C, I take away my thumb, I take away my right first hand finger, and I can easily keep the flute in position. I've got this hand, this index finger, 
wrapped around the body of the flute. And here's my C. And my B flat. And practicing going back and forth between B flat and C is very important. And I either have to have the flute on my face or resting on my shoulder to practice going back and forth between B flat and C. But if you're doing this with the flute on your shoulder, make sure that this first finger is wrapped around the instrument so that you have good support when you go to your C fingering. Okay, let's play exercise eight. Four by four. It begins with four C's, but I've been telling people, finger your B flat. Thumb one one. Pinky. Use the B flat fingering to bring your flute up. And now I prepare to play exercise eight four by four. And I take away my thumb and first finger. And I'm gonna play my four C's. And then I'm gonna go to my D. And the two fingers that are down for C come up, and everything that was up for C goes down to go to D. And this is a hard move, so again, we want to practice fingering the C and then the D. The C and then the D, and this is something that you want to do. You can hold the flute in front of you, and you can finger your C and then your D. And go slow, but do it a lot do it a lot. I've, as I've been explaining, flute fingerings at the beginning are hard. They get easy. They're hard at the beginning. It might be the hardest instrument in the band to get started on from a fingering standpoint, but we're going to get past this really quick. All right, so let's play exercise eight, four by four. We'll begin with four C's. I have my C fingering ready. Ready, play. Rest, rest, and now I'm ready to play my Fs. And I want to practice going back and forth between F and E flat. F and E flat. This is really important that flute players take the time to do these fingerings without playing back and forth many times. Here's exercise eight one last time. Here's my B-flat fingering, and now I take my thumb and first finger away, and I'm ready to play four C's, thinking about the D that I'm gonna go to. Here's my C's. Rest, rest, here's my F's. Rest, rest on C. And you notice that I don't take my head away to go from my D to the F's in the second half of this exercise. I've got to do it without looking. That's why it's so important to practice fingering the notes without playing, so that when you are playing, it will happen. And you can play slower than I'm playing as well when you practice these exercises. Here's the Fab Five exercise 10. It uses all five notes that we've learned on the flute. I think this one's easier than eight. Four by four is hard for flutes. I think 10 is easier. It begins with B flats. I play four B flats and then I go to my C. One, two, four B flats now. Get ready for my F's. Beginning on B flat again. Find my F's. And I 
rest. The second half of this exercise where we go F, F, E, E, D isn't too difficult. Spend time just practicing those five notes. F, F, E, E, D. If you can do that, you've got most of the song learned. At the beginning, going B, 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 C, you know, finding that C fingering is tough. We know that. We have to have the instrument firmly against our chin, lifting up, pushing away, so that when I go from B flat to C, the flute stays where I want it. I know I've been playing the flute for a long time. You will get this. Exercise 11, reading the notes. It's the same thing as song 10. But the party's over. We now no longer have note names written in in the notes that we are playing. So you must get good at identifying your notes and understanding where they are on the music staff. Let's review right now. Let's look at our first note, F, which is on the top of the music staff. Of course, the fingering is thumb, one, two, three, first finger, and pinky. And it's on that top line. Remember, we use every good boy does fine. The top line is the note F. And one note lower than F is E, E flat for the flute. And of course, here's the F fingering, and there's my E flat fingering. These two fingers are up, but my pinky is down for E flat. And then to move from the fourth space E down one note to the D, on the second line down from the top, all I have to do is pick up my right hand pinky, and there's our rabbit. There's the rabbit ears, there's the rabbit tail. This is our D. We go to the top of the next page, and again we go down one note lower in the second space down. Remember the spaces spell the word face, F, A, C, and E. But for now, flutes only have to worry about C and E in the spaces. And of course the C is just the right hand pinky, no thumb, just the first finger. Wrist bent, finger wrapped around the body of the flute. Hard note to play at first. And then we have the B flat. Thumb comes down first finger. So we have B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. Practicing just going from the B to the C to the D to the D to the F very slowly, getting your fingers right as you move from note to note. An excellent exercise for flutes. Flutes have to do some things they have to practice a little bit harder on these first notes than some of the other instruments do. You know, the clarinet is just a much easier instrument to finger at first. It gets harder later. Okay, so exercise 11, the same as exercise 10. Exercise 12, take a look at exercise 12. It begins with D's and then goes to two C's, and then three B flats. So practice fingering a D, and then fingering a C, and then fingering your B flat. And then play it. Two D's, two C's, three B flats. One, two, ready, play. That's the first part of song number 12, First Flight. As we continue, we go up to our highest note, F. We play two Fs, two Es, and then a D, a C, and a B. Okay? Again, we play two Fs, finger F, now finger E flat, now finger D, C, and B. So we're using all five notes that we know. In the second half of first flight, we play F, and then E, and then D, and then C, and then B. 
So the second half of this exercise, two Fs, two Es, F, F, E, E, D, C, B. Notice how when I go to that C fingering, I rest the flute on my shoulder because I know that it's hard to hold and finger the instrument on that C. All right, so we've got to learn these notes. We've got to be able to move from note to note. Here's another exercise for you. You know, pick a note and then pick another note and practice going back and forth between those two notes. You know, practice going back and forth between B flat and F, which is actually pretty easy. Here's my B flat, thumb, one, one, pinky, and here's F. Well, that's easy. B flat to F, that's pretty easy. Practice going from B flat to E flat. From B flat to E flat, okay? Practice playing D and then F, D and F. Practice going back and forth between C and a D, C and a D. You've got to take the time to do this. It will pay off. You will get really good really fast. And even though flutes tend to move a little bit slower at the very beginning, once we get these fingerings down, Flutes tend to move faster than any other instrument. It happens every year. Ask any band director that teaches beginning flute players. They'll tell you the same thing. Let's turn the page in our final moments of our video lesson here and take a look at page six. And at the very top of page six, you have a very helpful and handy chart called Notes in Review. And for the notes in review, we get the notes that we know already and the fingering chart under them. This is very helpful when, we're, when we start learning these songs on this next page. Here's our F, down one note to E flat, down one note to D, down one note to C, down one note to B flat. So practice playing an F and then an E and then a D, and then a C, and then a B flat, okay? So Pratt, use that, and then we can continue working and learning how to play hot cross buns. In hot cross buns, we use half notes. Half notes are notes that get half, the me half of the beats in a measure. So there's four beats in every measure of everything that we have played so far, and a half note gets half of those four beats. So half notes are worth two beats. When we look down at song number 17, Hot Cross Buns, we see three two-beat notes, a D, a C, and a B-flat. And then we have this little black, black rectangle, which is a half rest which is also worth two beats, two silent beats. So I'm going to demonstrate how to play hot cross buns for you, okay? And here we go. It starts with a D, goes to a C, and then a B flat. Rest, rest. So Hot Cross Buns only uses three notes, D, C, and B flat. And then I have to quickly go back to that D and do that sequence again. So this is why it's really important that we get good at moving from note to note with our fingers on the flute. So boys and girls, keep up the good work. Keep practicing. Come back to this video and watch it 
watch it again if you need to, play along with it, and enjoy playing your flute and play every day. Thanks, guys.